Hi, today is April 7th, Sunday, April 7th, 2019, and you are tuned into part two of Stop Recurrent Thyroid Nodules. I'm sorry, I, I know I started this video series yesterday, but YouTube was giving me a warm time in uploading the videos, especially part two. I worked on it for seven hours and I could not get the uh, proper video to upload. It kept re-uploading part one, so I'm redoing part two. Um, where I left off yesterday was I was actually presenting this article that I found by Dr. Isabella Wentz at thyroidpharmacist.com called Turmeric for Your Thyroid and Hashimoto's. And if you uh, suffer from thyroid nodules, you may not necessarily know what Hashimoto's is or how it relates to this um, video series. Hashimoto's is a condition when a person's immune system actually attacks their thyroid gland. And as a result, the thyroid gland produces um, a lot of hormones that cause uh, conditions and, and other problems within the body. So Dr. Isabella Wentz actually recommends um, the use of turmeric, um, which is a spice in order to help the thyroid gland, calm the thyroid gland without the use of having a pharmaceutical medication for the rest of your life. So if you were uh, previously diagnosed with a goiter or thyroid nodules and you had to have radiation therapy, um, some people have to have surgery or something like that. And then after the initial thy thyroid nodule or group of nodules are eliminated, you're normally placed on therapy for the rest of your life, maybe hormone therapy or something of that nature in order to keep your thyroid gland um, under control. Um, what Dr. Wentz is saying that is saying that is that turmeric has been found to be very useful in um, controlling the overproduction of the thyroid gland, of hormones created by the thyroid gland. Um, she In this diagram, I think this is the last thing I was showing you yesterday, she actually outlines the benefits of turmeric, and I'm going to read them off to you because I'm sure you're not able to see them all right here. Um, she lists the benefits of turmeric as number one, being an immune system regulator, um, reducing autoimmune activity in the body, protecting the gastrointestinal tract, uh, protecting the liver, actually detoxifying the body, having anti-cancer properties, and being a huge inflammation reducer. So it reduces inflammation in the body which has been linked to all kinds of diseases, simple inflammation. That's why a lot of diseases have itis on the end. The, the suffix itis, I-T-I-S, is indicative of inflammation of some part of the body. Okay, now I'm going to start to read verbatim some of the things she has here. There's really no point in my... Um, my sum summarizing the information because it's kind of straightforward. So one um, header she has in this article is titled Studies on the Effects of Curcumin. And I'm going to give this a quick read for you. Multiple studies that have examined the effect of curcumin on the thyroid gland and autoimmunity have shown encouraging results. Results of some of these studies include curcumin can help to protect the intestinal barrier from invasion by bacterial infection and can help heal a leaky gut. According to a 2014 study in the Journal of Food Chemistry and Toxicology, curcumin reduces the hepatotoxicity, that's liver toxicity, induced, that's another word for caused, by arsenic poisoning, cadmium poisoning, chromium, copper, lead, and mercury. It has also been found to prevent histological injury, injury to the cells of um, whatever organs have been affected, um, lipid peroxidation, and glutathione depletion, meaning it maintains liver antioxidant enzyme status and protects against mitochondrial cellular dysfunction. Okay, third, curcumin has shown to be tumor inhibiting, um, has shown tumor inhibiting activity in thyroid cancer. Okay, so right there, that that one sentence is telling us that it prevents growth. It prevents the growth of, of nodules 
and of tumors, okay? Curcumin has been found to be protective against the genetic damage and side effects induced by, there's that word induced again, meaning caused by radioactive iodine that is sometimes used to treat Graves' disease. So a lot of times when you have hyperparathyroidism, the thyroid gland is, is very overactive, that is linked directly to Graves' disease. And the way that's normally treated is with radioactive iodine. The treatment now, the radioactive iodine has its own side effects that have been found to cause genetic damage and, and other side effects um, that I haven't looked up, so I can't list them out to you. However, curcumin has been found to be a protective against that. So if you do have to have uh, radioactive iodine, curcumin is an awesome treatment to counter those side effects. Um, Another thing, curcumin, like I said earlier, has anti-inflammatory benefits that can be helpful in downregulating autoimmune conditions. Um, additionally, it seems to have therapeutic anti-inflammatory effects in a variety of gastrointestinal conditions, showing improvement in Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and irritable bowel syndrome. So now you might be saying to yourself, how do I go about using this turmeric? Um, it's not something that I cook with on a regular basis. I don't eat curry a lot. I'm not accustomed to it. Um, is there something I can, how do I, how do I consume it? So that is also addressed in this article. Now, because turmeric is a spice, it is normally something that is added to food. It is not something that I firstly am going to tell you, oh yeah, run out and buy turmeric capsules. That's exactly what you need. Um, with a high curcumin, curcuminoid, 95% curcuminoids in it because the traditional way of consuming it is as a food additive. So one way to do that if you don't cook tra you know, traditionally with uh, these kinds of spices is to make a tea. You can go on Amazon.com. It's a huge marketplace for things. You can purchase turmeric powder there. Gin these are the ingredients you need for your, for your tea. Turmeric powder, ginger powder, uh, black pepper, cinnamon powder, lemon juice, and some kind of sweetener that you like, whether honey, stevia, maple syrup, those are natural sweeteners, any sweetener that you prefer. And the way you would do it, you would mix one teaspoon of the turmeric powder with one teaspoon of the ginger powder, a pinch of pepper, whatever can fit between these two fingers is, a, is traditionally a pinch, a pinch of cinnamon, a squeeze of lemon juice, and add your sweetener and steep it in a cup of hot water. And you would, that's how you would make your cup of uh, turmeric tea. Um, I would tell you if it's not something that you're accustomed to consuming, just start with one cup per day um, because you want to see whether how you respond to it. Maybe it might make you nauseous. I didn't see, I, I looked up um, side effects or adverse effects of consuming this tea or the turmeric. And the only thing I found was that some people might get a little tummy upset from it, you know, feeling nauseous or what have you, if you're not used to it. If you find that it, you can drink it just fine, um, maybe you can drink it with crackers or, you know, some, put something on your stomach. You don't want to just be taking in these spices with on an empty stomach, right? Especially to, to prevent nausea. And if you find that you can take it, then you can graduate to two cups per day because that is actually the recommended amount um, in order to keep your thyroid gland in check. If you're somebody who's always on the go and you insist that you want capsules, um, she does recommend a, 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 a blend known as Curcumin Absorb. It is C-U-R-C-U-M-I-N, Curcumin Absorb, A-B-S-O-R-B. -S um, she says it's on the market. It has uh, three very uh, active in ingredients in it, including curcumin, bisdemethoxy curcumin and demethoxy curcumin along with turmeric oil and the she says the three curcuminoids are the strongest most protective and best researched constituents of the turmeric root naturally occurring turmeric root powder contains only five to seven percent curcumin while the blend in curcumin absorb is concentrated to contain 95 percent curcuminoids so if you suffer from a hyperactive thyroid gland i hope you find this uh, information to be helpful and I wish you the best on your journey to good health and please uh, follow up with me if you must let me know how it goes if you don't want to leave a public comment my email is provencures at gmail.com I, I also got some other requests to do research so that um in line after this now I'll be researching uh, pulmonary fibrosis the latest research on pulmonary fibrosis treatment 
and also nerve pain. I have not forgotten my requests from the people who are subscribing and paying attention. I'm very grateful to you and I thank you very, very, very much. Thank you um, and have a good day.